welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial today we are going to sketch this beautiful wrench in SOLIDWORKS we will sketch each and every part separately and we will assemble it at the end so let's see how to sketch and assemble this beautiful wrench in SOLIDWORKS now we will make the first part of wrench so choose front plane sketch select corner rectangle and draw from origin assign dimension 200 length and width 25 mm ok select top choose construction this one we want to use as a construction line ok now choose center line draw a center line exit now assign some dimensions 30 degree this length keep 50 mm now choose a line and draw a line exit Make sure it is perpendicular to each other. Select a smart dimension 25 mm. Length keep 60 mm. Thirty five mm. Okay. Select center line. ok now assign dimension select 30 mm 14.5 mm and distance from here to this point keep 20 mm ok Now select spline and connect one end to this end, exit, again choose spline and connect from one end to this end and up to this end and up to here. Now exit. Now select this spline, click this, choose vertical select smart dimension select 50 mm ok distance from here to here Keep the length, cancel, now assign degree, 20 and the length, 70, ok, now again choose smart dimension, select this spline, select this point, choose vertical, select dimension, length, height, select 50 mm, ok, now select this point, choose smart dimension and assign angle 45 degree, and the length length always is small, uh, is small 20 mm ok now choose 3 point corner rectangle and draw a rectangle here exit now select this rectangle 
two sides make equal this side and this side make relation parallel parallel delete this already parallel with this line now assign dimension 25 mm distance from here to this line delete this distance make relation parallel okay now assign this dist distance between these two lines 10 mm this line to this point 15 mm select okay now our wrench one part is ready this see it is fully defined select this select mid plane top 10 mm okay and choose the material let's say aluminum save as a part 1 let's go for next part now we will create a slot for this first choose this one sketch select center line and draw one rect line from one end to another end now exit choose circle and draw one circle in in midpoint keep diameter 8 mm select extruded cut one side keep 5 mm and the direction two keep through all select okay okay now select this face sketch normal select center line draw one center line exit select circle and draw one circle here keep diameter 8 mm okay select corner rectangle and draw one corner rectangle keep 5 mm okay now select this line center line and outer line make symmetric now it is symmetric okay now assign distance from here to top select 8.5 mm circle from here to top okay this height you can little make big it's no not big deal now select extruded cut here choose this circle and select this all portion choose mid plane and select through all we want to cut through all select okay select all body one part is missing again choose and here select this center part also do one thing just do editing choose trim and trim unnecessary all the inside part now okay now exit now select 
edit clear this section now this is the selected section okay now see this hole created now choose fillet now here choose face fillet full round fillet sorry select this face this face and the third one this face okay cancel it again choose fillet select one end and another end choose okay this one increase 15 mm see okay now select this face sketch normal choose a circle here select this circle and this concentric or remove this relation keep diameter 12 mm draw a center line select this line outer line and this line make symmetry okay select extruded cut choose through all okay keep fillet 0.5 mm clear okay now again choose fillet keep 0.5 mm and select this face and select back side face even make 1 mm select okay now see the whole body is created now save as it is our part 1 so now let's move for part 2 still some small things are balanced so select this top surface sketch normal draw one center line exit now select center point straight slot draw a straight slot now exit increase this point length now choose center point okay now assign radius 7 mm okay height you can adjust make according to your requirement select extruded cut cut 2 mm okay now choose fillet 0.25 mm select inside select outside also okay now just make mirror choose front plane mirror select this cut out and this fillet choose okay see 
now our body is perfect ready for assembly now go for next part just save it now we will sketch part number two for wrench so select front plane sketch choose line and start to draw okay okay and connect now exit from the line now assign dimension Fourteen mm, eight mm, thirty five mm, and this line from this point twenty mm. Keep the radius. Cancel. We want to make the radius. Delete this relation. Now choose smart dimension fifty five. Select OK. Now choose extruded boss. Choose mid plane. Select ten mm. OK. Now again choose front plane. Sketch. Normal. Choose a line and start from this point. Draw a vertical line. This line. and connect up to here now exit from the line choose smart dimension select 3 mm keep 41.5 mm keep angle 55 degree and select the length height 8 mm okay now select this line and choose this line click convert entities now this line going to be convert now it is converted so our geometry is completed see select extruded boss choose mid plane and keep only 5 mm select okay See Now select right plane sketch choose normal Now we want to draw a circle here select a circle draw a circle up to this point exit make sure it is attached with this select diameter keep 8 mm Okay now select this point and circle make relation coincident Okay now select extruded boss This direction direction 1 keep 18 mm direction 2 28 mm select okay now go to our first part sketch 1 edit select normal now we have to do one thing select this point and this point make vertical now exit now see this is our main geometry we received 
now select top plane sketch select normal again normal and select here wireframe okay now choose center line and draw one center line again draw a center line center from this to this center exit select this line now assign dimension 5 mm and angle 95 degree ok choose a line draw a line exit select this line and this line make parallel this line and this line make parallel this line and this line also make parallel delete uh, it's ok because we want to cut it just select a smart dimension select 3.5 mm and the length keep 10 mm ok now select mirror entity select this four lines mirror about this line Oh, cancel it here tangent relation deleted now select this line and this line make parallel now select this three lines select symmetric now it is symmetric ok now select linear sketch pattern select this four lines keep 0 select direction x axis keep distance 5 mm and 8 numbers ok 8 numbers and 5 mm select ok now we want to extrude cut so choose this view select extrude cut select all all portions choose offset keep offset 18 mm reverse direction eight point five mm reverse direction cut through all select ok now this is our part two now this height looks more so we will do some adjustment for this height part 2 edit normal reduce this height keep 5.5 mm exit now this looking better now select the whole component assign appearance this is polished steel select this face sketch normal 
now choose corner rectangle and draw a rectangle from midpoint to here now select extrude cut select reverse direction select ok select all body ok now it is cut some portion is balanced here edit delete this relation just increase up down upward ok now exit now it's clean see now it's time to define some radius choose chamfer uh, fillet 3 mm select this face choose constant size Three mm. Okay. Now again choose fillet. Point two five mm. Select inside. Select back side also. Okay. Now choose fillet, select 2 mm and select this end and this end. Select OK. Again choose fillet, 0.25 mm. This time select this face and choose this face, this face also. select this outer face and this outer face choose ok close it clear only few select this face back face ok I think it's showing some error ok So this is enough actually no need more. So this is the part 2 save as part 2. So now go now for we will sketch part. third part for wrench. So choose front plane sketch. Draw two circles. Now inside diameter keep 8 mm and the gap between these two key 5 mm select extruded boss keep 25 mm mid plane select ok now select this face sketch draw a circle from origin point and keep diameter 22 mm okay now go to curves choose helix and spiral we want to create some thread here so choose constant pitch select 5 mm revolution 5 mm degree select 135 choose reverse direction select okay now select plane select this line select this choose plane and select the point now see this point is selected select ok select this plane sketch normal now we will create some geometry here select corner rectangle uh, before that choose a point and put one point here this is the point of this circle now select corner rectangle and draw one rectangle 
exit now select this point and select this line coincide again select this point and select this line make midpoint okay choose a smart dimension and assign the length 3 mm and width also 3 mm now exit from the sketch select swift boss base choose this line select ok now select chamfer 0.75 mm distance distance or keep angle distance select one side select another side ok now see hide this plane now select this is surface is sketch draw a circle we want to clean this draw a big circle select cut out choose reverse direction okay now see it is parallel choose front plane mirror select this cut out we want to cut it here also okay now see it is cut it here so this is the roller or you can say thread rolling inside for wrench now save it as a part 3 okay now we will sketch last part pin so choose front plane sketch draw a circle and keep diameter 7.95 mm select extruded boss keep length 35 mm ok save as part 4 now we will go for assembly now we are going to start the assembly of wrench choose assembly ok now browse all the four parts open the first part second part third part and the fourth part first part always fixed choose component select this face and this ok this face and choose inside face ok now select this face and this ok select this out outer inside wall and this face ok now this all parts are fixed here now select this inside circle and select this surface ok now drag it here select this face and this face ok now see it is moving inside see it is fixing here now here we will assign some relation first save as a assembly assembly wrench assembly now here we will assign some relation so choose mat select this surface and this face choose tangent ok now select this point and this face coincident ok now select evaluate choose measure now measure the distance between two points this midpoint and this point keep remember this distance 34.79 mm ok 
now select this mat suppress select this mat suppress now choose mat go to advanced mat select here 34.79 here keep 1 mm select this face and this face choose okay now select mechanical mat rack and pinion select here 5 mm and here choose this one this rod and the pinion choose this inside keep 5 mm select okay okay now see we already allocated the see it is rotating and it will this is the maximum limit it will not go beyond that so our we are done our wrench is completed see our wrench is completed i hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to share and share and like our videos and like our channels for subscribe our channel for more projects in solid works i hope you enjoyed Thanks for watching.